Hello and welcome to this special segment called MC Pro Select Stock of the Day. In this segment, we bring to you fundamentally strong stock ideas that you can consider in your portfolio. Today's stock of the day is Aditya Birla Capital. If we talk about the company, then it is a well-managed holding company of Aditya Birla Group, a Fortune 500 company. It manages financial service business of the ABC. Grassim Industries hold 52.6% equity in ABC, headquartered in Mumbai with a pan-India presence. Comprehensive suite of financial solutions, loans, investments, insurance and payment. Receive no objection from the RBI and stock exchanges for the proposed merger between ABC Limited and Aditya Birla Finance Limited. Merger to simplify the corporate structure and lift capital adequacy. It will also create a large unified operating NBFC, less number of legal entities too. ABC will be one of the biggest NBFCs in the country, increased operational efficiencies together with synergy benefits. It is going to combine the assets under management to cross rupees 5 lakh crore mark. Strong inline quarter 2 performance. Total AM also increased by 24% year on year and 9% quarter on quarter to reach rupees 50.12 lakh crore. Positive trends and strong outlook in lending business continued. Highest quarterly disbursement in the mortgage business led by digitization which can be seen. Strong group synergies and brand expansion remain the long-term drivers. Strong growth continued in the NBFC segment, Aditya Villa Finance Limited. NBFC lending book also crossed Rs 1.15 lakh crore in September alone. Loan portfolio also expanded by 23% year-on-year and 7% quarter-on-quarter. Sharp traction seen secured loans and Odio Plus, B2B MSME digital platform. Strong disbursement growth in housing finance loan portfolio. Personal and consumer and unsecured business loan also saw contraction in quarter two. Better margins and stable asset quality to drive long-term ROA to 3%. Improved asset quality. Credit costs improved amid volatile conditions. High share of lending portfolio is secured. Continued focus on pre-deliquency mortgage portfolio. Gross stage 2 and 3 ratio of NBFC and the HF improved sequentially. Other business performances. Asset management business saw 23% growth in AOM in quarter 2, path up by 36% year on year. Total 1.16 million new SIPs added in 2024. Passive AOM saw strong growth. Life insurance business individual first year premium increased by 33% year on year in H1 financial year 2025. Life insurance business value of new business margin declined year on year. VNB margin guidance lowered to 17 to 18% range for financial year 2025. Health insurance market share improved by 92 BPS year on year to 12.5% in quarter one. The road ahead. If we look at the road ahead for the company, then the management targets 25% CAGR in the NBFC housing portfolio over the next two, three years. The focus is on increasing the secured NBFC business mix return ratios to improve. Target credit cost around 1.5% supported by conservative provisioning. Investment in digital capabilities and omni-channel expansion also to continue. New product lines in life and health insurance will support growth trajectory. With that, it's a wrap. For more such updates, keep watching moneycontrol.com and please like, share and subscribe to Money Control's YouTube channel.